Charlie D'Amelio and Chase Hudson were once the it couple on TikTok until they broke up amidst cheating allegations. Charlie's elder sister Dixie took over with Griffin, but they have also broken up amidst cheating allegations. Okay, why is everyone cheating? And why can't we have just one normal relationship in this generation? Stick around to find out exactly what happened between Dixie and Griffin. And while at it, don't forget to subscribe to Riveted. Both Dixie and Griffin are definitely not strangers in the entertainment industry. And if you haven't heard of them, you seriously need to move out of the cave you're living in. Even if you don't know Griffin that well, you at least know Dixie, the sister of the most famous person on TikTok. Griffin is also a social media star who rose to fame with his TikTok profile. He gained popularity for creating vlogs and comedy content. On TikTok, he boasts of a fan base of 8.8 .8 million followers, while he has nearly 1 million subscribers on his YouTube channel. Before his claim to social media fame, the internet star grew up in Illinois and enrolled at a nursing program at Indiana State University, where he's now a member of the Sigma Phi Epsilon fraternity. In 2019, Griffin joined the Sway House with fellow influencers Josh Richards, Bryce Hall, and others, but he made the decision to leave Sway LA for a leadership role at Sway Gaming, a new gaming house born out of a partnership between Sway's parent company, Talent X Entertainment, and the esports organization RecT Global. It's only natural that as his platform grew, he met other stars on TikTok, and somewhere down the line, Dixie caught his attention. Dixie has built a positive profile on social media, and we understand how it was easy for Griffin to be attracted to her kindness, beauty, and a big heart. One thing Johnson said he admires about D'Amelio and her family, who have built a TikTok empire, is their ability to stay grounded in normality. Well, on his part, Griffin hasn't also been problematic, which made it easier for Dixie to give him a chance. Unlike many TikTokers, Griffin isn't known for his dancing, and unlike his housemates, who have recently been mired in a series of scandals, Johnson has cultivated a more wholesome reputation. Well, that was until a few days ago. Griffin even once said that it was easy for people to forget about him because he wasn't involved in drama. Okay, you have our attention now, Griffin. What's going on? Is everything just for clout? Before we talk about the breakup, let's do a quick recap of the relationship. Dixie and Griffin were first linked together after they were both cast on Attaway General, a show about teens volunteering at a hospital. On the show, Dixie plays Georgia, daughter of the hospital's best surgeon, Dr. Henry. Griffin, meanwhile, plays Will, Dr. Henry's protege. In episode two of the series, Georgia and Will's relationship took a big step when they shared a kiss in a supply closet. And since the filming of the show started, Dixie has been in a rumored relationship with co-star and on-screen love interest, Griffin Johnson. Clearly, they took their romance off-screen in the hopes that the relationship would grow into something beautiful in real life. Rumors that Dixie and Griffin were dating started in February 2020, when fans started noticing that they appeared in each other's videos on TikTok. Then the shout-outs and collabs rolled over to Instagram, where the two posted photos together. The two appeared inseparable, and Griffin was right by his girl when she had to get her wisdom teeth taken out. Throughout March, they were all over each other's TikTok, and it was obvious that they couldn't get enough of each other. Fans were living for all of it, and the two constantly got comments on their posts to confirm the relationship. Before confirming the relationship in March of 2020, Griffin did post a series of cuddly snaps alongside Dixie to his Instagram, which he captioned with a simple heart. Some people took that to mean that they were dating, and after that, they continued posting more content with each other on social media. The pair was last together at the end of March. Then, due to the coronavirus, they were separated across the country, with Dixie quarantining with her family in Connecticut and Griffin staying with the Sway Boys in LA. Dixie and Griffin seemed to reunite in June after over two months apart. The rumored couple shared a selfie on social media, captioning the cute pic, Hi! They fueled romance rumors even more on Twitter when a fan replied to a photo of the pair and asked if they were dating yet. Dixie replied by telling the fan to ask Griffin, and instead of Griffin giving fans a definitive answer, he took to his own account and shared that Dixie's nickname is Stinky. Well, their status was still unclear back in June. Everyone knew that Dixie and Griffin were close, and they really didn't try to hide it, but the exact nature of their relationship was unclear. That is, until Dixie seemingly confirmed she was dating Griffin in a YouTube video. While chatting with YouTuber Maddie Smokes, Dixie got asked, Is it weird dating somebody in the Sway House when you're from the Hype House? Dixie completely ignored the first part of the question, focusing instead on the fact that she had already left the Hype House. Maddie then asked if it was weird when she was in the Hype House, and Dixie responded saying, No, because I feel like I could bring both groups together. The couple officially confirmed their relationship publicly in Dixie's YouTube video, My Family and Friends React to My Be Happy Music Video. In the video, Dixie plays her Be Happy Music video for Griffin, and he hesitantly calls him her boyfriend saying, So this is my boyfriend, Griffin. Days later, Thomas Petro also confirmed the relationship. As members of the Hype House were walking through Beverly Hills, someone asked Thomas Petro if Dixie and Griffin were dating, and without skipping a beat, Thomas said, yeah, adding that it had been official for a while. 
Griffin and Dixie confirmed that Thomas was speaking the truth by taking the sound from the video and lip syncing to it on TikTok. Soon after they shared the video, D'Amelio went on Twitter to gush about her boyfriend where she wrote, I have a crush on Griffin Johnson. However, as it turned out, when Thomas spoke about the relationship, Griffin hadn't actually asked Dixie to be his girlfriend. In a vlog from July 2020, Griffin explained the entire situation and took fans along as he took his girlfriend on a romantic date and asked her out officially. Then he took Dixie to the house where all their friends were waiting for the official announcement. And they had a mini celebration. When Griffin posted a photo of them, both on July 13th, he captioned it by writing, I may have assumed we were dating without asking you out, but I don't know how many people that would battle an hour of traffic in McDonald's lines to give you a whack-ass milkshake. The last time Dixie posted a photo of herself and Griffin was July 21st, which is not too long ago. According to a different YouTube video, the two were talking for six months before making their relationship official, and as we said, they were quickly becoming couple goals. Unfortunately, relationships barely last in LA, especially when they involve high-profile influencers. Ugh. We were really hoping that the two would not become a statistic. Anyway, things first went south when Chase Hudson accused Griffin of cheating on Dixie. During an interview with Vlog Squad member Jeff Wittick, she finally set the record straight about the rumors. Jeff asked, your ex-boyfriend, he cheated on you? She replied, current boyfriend, and no, no cheating. At the time, she set the record straight and denied the rumors, but on July 30th, a slew of other cheating allegations came to light. Fans started to speculate that Griffin and Dixie had broken up after a TikTok video posted by Madison Galley that has since gone viral alleged that Griffin messaged another girl and explicitly told her he was single and claimed Johnson was flirting with another person on Snapchat. She also shared screenshots of apparent conversations between them, but those screenshots have not been verified. Like other users on TikTok, D'Amelio also saw the video and left a comment that said nothing really. She then tweeted a vague message about not tearing others down before making her Twitter account private. After a little investigation, fans discovered that Dixie previously followed Madison and that Madison reportedly lives one town over from where the D'Amelio sisters grew up. Madison's TikTok has led fans to believe that perhaps Chase Hudson's accusations were not entirely baseless. Remember when Chase Hudson revealed that Griffin had allegedly cheated on Dixie at least twice? Once with Taylor Holder's ex-girlfriend, Caitlin Slevin, and another time with Bryce Hall's ex-girlfriend, Ellie? Maybe he was not making it up. While Chase has since apologized to everyone he slammed in the post, he's not debunked or taken back any of his claims. In the same post, he made several different claims about many of Johnson's friends and fellow members of the Sway House. Hudson also claimed that Jaden Hostler actively tried to hook up with Dixie at the Hype House on July 4th directly in front of him, despite her relationship with Johnson being openly public news. Fans confirmed that Dixie and Griffin were over when Dixie unfollowed Griffin on Instagram and then commented on a video about him cheating on her. She also liked several posts on Twitter which talked about true friendship and trust. Around the same time, Johnson changed his header photo on Twitter from a photo with her to one with a group of friends. Even with all these pointers, fans still needed confirmation from the two, and Dixie set the record straight. She uploaded a video to YouTube titled, My Last Date with Griffin. At the beginning of the video, she says, Hey, so we actually broke up, but I had this video scheduled for today, so I'm posting it anyway. Sharing the video to her Twitter with the caption, LOL. It seemed Dixie had the right attitude about the breakup and is still getting interest about it, as the video currently has over 10 million views. The video features a lot of cute moments between the two, which was probably a little awkward to look back on. Griffin got a helicopter to surprise Dixie with a dinner date in Orange County. The restaurant Griffin planned on going to was pretty much closed by the time they got there, and the other restaurants in the area were also closed. Luckily, McDonald's came through and saved the day. It's clear from the video she and Johnson had a lot of love and appreciation for each other during their time together certainly makes this vlog about their last date together that much more painful to watch. Dixie didn't explain why they broke up, but their last date looks super sweet. Obviously, Johnson received quite a bit of backlash over the TikTok user's claims a few hours after the video went viral, but hasn't publicly addressed the situation. However, he announced that he was taking a break from social media. On Twitter, he wrote, Mental health is a serious issue in the culture of TikTok right now, regardless of whether you think it's funny or not. The hateful comments can really break people down. Your comment may be the one that pushes someone over the edge. So think before you type, I'm taking a break. While many people loved seeing Dixie and Griffin together, others felt like they were not the perfect match and even quoted horoscopes. D'Amelio was born on August 12th, which makes her a confident and courageous Leo. Johnson's birthday falls on January 13th, making him a no-nonsense Capricorn. Despite both being passionate, determined, and very self-aware, lions and goats tend to have totally different priorities, and the assumption according to horoscope enthusiasts, is that the two are not compatible. We still don't know for certain whether Griffin cheated on Dixie since none of them have directly addressed the allegations. However, that doesn't mean that they can't go on with their lives. Griffin is already part of a new show, Dish This. The show, hosted and judged by Chowhound editor-at-large Joey Scladani, is bringing amateur social media stars together in a six-episode amateur cook-off. 
Other contestants include TikTok superstars Noah Beck, Brittany Broski, Sarah Schauer, Christian Dennis, Tyson Lawrence, Daniela, and Divinity Perkins, Sophie Dossi, and Zach Dossi. Throughout the competition, contestants will compete in numerous challenges, and whoever wins the challenge has the option to either receive a tip on how to make their own recipe or sabotage their competition. The two competitors are judged by Skladani on ingredients used, presentation, and creativity to determine who the best amateur chef is. Well, we will be talking more about Dixie's plans for the future in one of our next videos, so make sure you tune in. Remember to leave a comment on the cheating allegations, though. As always, this has been Riveted.